Okay, hi, my name's Chris. I'm here again with my buddy Eddie. And we shot a Hello. video of the Fair Hog set from Go uh, from uh, Hog Legs last week. And uh, the video didn't didn't record me. Uh, I I was in the review, and we we're using a Hero Three Plus, which as of right now there's Hero Seven. So the Three Plus success it was super awesome when I got it. Now it's crap. So we're shooting the video again. My part. Um, on my camera. So again, this is the Feral Hog set. This right here is the boar tusk. And let's just get a picture of it. There you go. I want to remind everybody I had this set customized with 3 inch balls on the ends um, for grip training. And I really like them. I just want to show you with their bell. So this is a boar tusk. I'm doing 80 pounds right now. And uh, just so I can show you everything about it. So I want to grab up here. The balls prevent my hands from slipping off. And then I pull it. And then you pull it all the way down. Or mostly all the way down. And it's good. And then I can go ahead and change up. Switch bars. I'll change my grip. Here, just pull it down a little bit, please. So, grip the other part. There we go. Got it. Grip over here. Change my grip. There we go. That's good. Then okay, change your grip even further. Pull it out, pull it down, please. Yeah. Or yeah, try to dip it in the middle. I'm gonna grab the ball. Okay. All right. So okay, <laughs> you have the. Okay, you got it. There we go. Got it. Yes. All right. Okay. So here we go to get the ball, and I just do my grip. Training from here. Uh, really good. Oh, this bird's alive, by the way. Uh, here you go. You also notice the tusk part is facing down. I actually face is out right now. Yep. Um whoops. That's cause it's a revolving hanger. And uh if it was stationary if it was stationary it'd be facing up. But because it's revolving which I like. Um, the tusk faces downwards. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, the second bar I'm doing is a pork chop. It's like you go right in the middle, and your hands will slide down to uh, the ends, which the pork chop is curved. So it it prevents your hands from falling off. You should do it. Do it nice. Good, good pull downs. A lot of the movements are similar, but they're at a different angle and a different approach. And you'll feel it is uh 
you feel different muscles is being used. All right, so if you want to pull it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I your head, Alright, here we go. Grip the balls. Don't look at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a different bar. Okay, so this next bar we'll be doing is the ham bone. Uh, it's another pull down bar, but less aggressive as the pork chop. I think this angle was 60 degrees. I don't know, look it up. The other than the pork chop, it looks like it's 90. So. That's not 90 degrees. The, the other one is 90. The that's pork like, chop. It's like 100 something. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Just look, look up the angle. Oh, Under 35. Yeah. Mm. It's less good. It's almost straight, but it has that little bit of curve. It makes it com very comfortable. I will say that. Uh, there you go. It also has the uh the extra piece on the end. If your hand starts to slip, the extra piece locks your hand from sliding off. Uh, just like that. <laughs> Alright, so go if you can pull it down, I'll do the grip. I mean, balls. You got it. Got it. Yes. Okay. And the balls. Here we go. There we go. Nice. It's wider. Grip training. Okay, that's good enough. The last bar I want to show you. Or this part of the set is the sub primal. Is this bar has a revolving center? And so again, yeah, you just grab it and just like a lot of the other bars, it curves upwards because a different angle. So your hands were to stop right there so you do closer pull downs like that. You can also ready pull it a little pull it down. Okay. One, two, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hold where you are. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, go a little bit wider. Wider okay. grip. Got it. Got it. Right there. A little bit wider. This is weird. Because your hands are actually ang angled up. But it's extremely effective. Just holding it right here. I feel my form burning. Oh man. Just like that. Okay. All right, now if you want to pull it again. Okay. I'll do the grip. All the balls, where are they? They're right there. Oops. Got it. Okay, the balls, the widest 
Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is intense. Okay, I'm burning. You know what, Joe? I also want to mention from all the bars, the pork chop balls were the easiest to grip. Uh, just because they're welded from the bottom. So you're gripping the whole thing on top. And pulling down. Whew. Okay. okay, that was the end of the feral hog set. I also want to show you another bar that I got. It's called the Piglet Plus. It's little choice of bar. It is similar to the hand bone. But it, but the hand bone is a little bit wider. Not much. And it's a plus because it already comes with the bars. Um, it comes with the balls welded on. So that's why it's called the plus. Let me try to grab it. There we go. So on this, the balls prevent your hands from sliding off. And you do get nice narrow pull down uh, Here we go oh, I will also mention this right here is actually the second bar that I bought from Hog Legs the first being the dual I don't know what it's called. It's a dual, uh, dual cable bar. Anyway, so I got this one next. And I already had the ball welded on. And this is the bar that made me decide to get the Feral Hog set with custom ball walls it on because I liked it so much so this is it and the gateway bar and okay so I'm gonna okay the last attachment I'm gonna show you is this fat grip dual pull down attachment I don't know what it's called really in the last video I called it fucking awesome. Because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> um, it is longer, so usually I have to uh, sit back a little bit. Or change the angle of the uh, arm from my machine. Anyway, so let's do that. I'll show you. Get a grip. And do this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, I think on this bar or this attachment, you do rows or stuff. I mean, yeah, you could on all the bars. You could do pull up or bicep curls. I mean, um, there's a bunch of stuff you could do with all the bars, all the attachments. I do pull down stuff. Uh, it's just easier that way for me. But here it is. So you get it. You're playing down. You're narrow. You're what wider. You know, you choose widest. Let's see if we get the widest. There we go. Ah! I can change my grip. Or change the angle, we'll see before like a hammer. Now it's straight out. I can also change how my fingers are. That's what I like actually. I do it for the 
and roll it in the middle of the first and second. Nice water grip. Oh. Okay. All right. So uh, my next review will be a, a customized razor back. Okay, so that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching. Again, my name's Chris with Eddie. Hey, goofball. Uh, that was a Fair Hog set customized from Hog Legs. I showed you the Piglet Plus and this thing. Fucking awesome. Alright, there you go. I'm so tired. And we're out.